In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up the Callisto safe spot and dump that cunt, sending him straight back to Lumbridge. After I show the guide, there will be some footage at the end from my live streams where I was doing this live in the wilderness and my chat was there in the woody with me dumping people left, right and center. Little bit of peaking, little bit of unreliable support from the people that follow me, yet I still rely on them anyway. Plenty of entertainment for you, but first, I'm going to show you what's going on. Over here, we have a longbow, preferably magic, with a rune arrow to drag Callisto over to where he needs to be. The torture, BGS, and Barrow's gloves are my three safe items. I know you're probably thinking, where's the mole slippers? Why dragon boots? I don't want to give some cunt 500k in case I get ragged, and dragon boots are free to get. So, this is my getup. Over in the inventory, we have pots, pots, food, gear. Shit. No, I will not be bringing thralls. You'll have some smart ass on Reddit like, eh, thralls are necessary for wildy bossing. No, they're not. I would much rather be able to freeze, rag, and get the fuck away from some tryhard PK than bring thralls because uh, they're necessary. Because they are not essential to getting a Callisto kill. So without further ado, ju being the keyword, I'm just pre-potting and then we're going to send it to the deep wilderness. I'll probably hop straight to a PvP world as well. They seem to be very good locations to be able to... Fuck, wrong house. PvP worlds seem to be the best option for finding boss worlds that are free. So we'll go to Anarchal, in my opinion, is the best teleport, level 46. We'll go straight to a PvP world now. 392 is where you can catch me bossing if you feel like you got the balls to come take on the fucking king. All right, in terms of tile markers, I might have this information down in the description. It purely depends on whether I can be fucked doing it. So if it's not in the description, don't take it personally. There you go, someone's already set up the safe spot. These are the... Uh, let me just export tile markers. There you go. So I'll put them in the in the description down below. But you'll need these tile markers to set up the uh, outer bolts. Hop. Alright, let's go to a different world. And hopefully Callisto is not here. So we can set it up. Nope. Nope. Fuck. Every single world. Holy shit. Let's try the British PvP world. Fucking British. Oh, for fuck. Oh, God. He's bowfering. He's got balls. I'm not doing a high risk world. No fucking way. Alright, we got a free world. So... Setting up Callisto is very simple. It doesn't matter what your bow's on, as long as it's a long bow, it just makes it a hell of a lot easier. You want to run over to where he spawns. Hopefully he's here and it's not just a clan of PKs ready to fuck me. Here we go. Hit Callisto and immediately run to the first square. Right here. Just tag him. You don't need to make sure it hits him. Just automatically run to this fucking square. He will follow you. Stand here and wait. You want to make sure that he does actually come. Come being the key word there. So wait for him to show up at this tree. He'll show up eventually, just like that. Run back to this square. I like to wait maybe a game tick or two and run all the way to the south square here. You might get ragged here by him. Sometimes he'll 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 hit you with the quickness. Hopefully he's humble. He is. Now this square here is important. You have to be quick here. You want to watch him walk over that square. As soon as he walks over, run to this tile and that's it. There's a little bit quick. Go back and watch it if you have to. Well, as soon as he walks over this tile here, you walk to this tile and wait for him to just stop and stare like this. And then we put on piety. We hit him with the fucking BGS. Zero, and the BGS fucking 36. All right, and now we sit here, just sending it. That's it. If a PK comes, we're ready to throw on the mage gear, freeze the cunt, hide behind this tree here, and log out. Or, if a PK comes, we're ready to throw the mage gear on, freeze him, and run that direction. If he comes from the south, here's a pro tip. Freeze him, run that direction. To the north, you've got an obelisk up there. So you're, you're safe either way, provided, I mean, if it's a clan, it's singles anyway, just do not head that direction. Over there, whatever, north, east, south, west. Do not go west. Obviously, you can't go east, dickhead. So north or south, depending where the PK comes from, just freeze the cunt and book it for the fucking hills. Log out as soon as you can. Callisto's fucking melting here quite nicely. We're looking pretty good. You only need to pray piety. What more is there to explain for how to do Callisto? I'll do the kill one more time just to make sure you guys are aware of what's happening. The ground tile markers should be in the description. I'm pretty sure you can just copy them. Right click world map, go import ground markers, and it should just give you exactly what I've got here. I'll finish this Callisto kill quickly. One more hit, fucking bop. Now obviously people are using like Vigorous Chain Maces and Bofors and stuff. The BGS is fine for me because obviously being an Iron Man, I don't have access to the ground exchange for that equipment. And I can just dump the BGS spec and then hit him with the BGS and it works fine. I don't have to worry about risking extra gear. And it seems to be, in my opinion, the most viable way to, to do the kill at the moment. Until I can obviously get my hands on the chain base. So I, I, that's why I'm using the BGS. You can use any item you want. Um, he is weak to slash, I think, anyway. Where is this cunt? Here he is. Tag him. Don't worry about this fucking demon. Who gives a shit? Obviously, the staminas and the antipoisons are for... Well, I guess the spiders, but also for running away from PKs when that time comes. Now, you might not see Callisto because of this lesser demon. Which does happen sometimes. So that's okay. What I'm going to do is just... Oh, look. He walks up anyway. He doesn't give a fuck. Walk here. 
wait a tick or two, and then run south. And hopefully Callista doesn't hit us, because sometimes he does do like, you can hit you up for up to 60, like that. That's gonna hurt. Yep, cheers cunt. That's right, run to this square as soon as you can. Just fucking get his attention. And look, he's just there. As long as you're over here, by the time that he, he's walking to this location, you're fine. I don't know why the fuck that worked. I guess he, he pushed me into the safe spot immediately. Cheers, cunt. trying to help me out, making sure that he's in for the video. So, Callisto, good boy. And that's pretty much it, boys. That's Callisto in a nutshell. Put on party, divine super combat, and just sit here left-clicking the cunt. If you have better weapons, obviously use them. But unless a PK comes to try to kill me right now, um, I've got no more footage to show you from this part of the video. I'm going to now show you my clan coming in and being a fucking nightmare for me to deal with, but helping me get my 20 KC. So don't be a shit cunt. Hit the like and subscribe button if this video helped you. And most importantly, come to my fucking live stream. Stop wasting your time. Alright, fuck off. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck me, look at that boy.